Just a couple quick disclaimers before we begin. Number one, do not go to war with anyone mentioned in this video. And number two, because this series' purpose is to critique and comment on the artwork presented in it, it falls under fair use. Now then, on with the show. DeviantArt, one of the world's largest online art galleries, holding great masterpieces, but also great eccentricities. Today, we'll take a look at someone from there. On this episode of DeviantArt Critique, we'll be diving into a nervous system. Over the past eight episodes, I've generally taken a look at mostly terrible slash mediocre artists, with only a few exceptions. However, I plan on showing you guys some actually good artists over the next three episodes of this series, this one included. Doing a few more positively minded episodes, in my opinion, will help show you the variety of stuff that is to be found on DeviantArt. Well, with that out of the way, let's get started with a nervous system. A nervous system is a digital artist hailing from the land of the absolute states of America. She's been on the site for the very short tenure of about a month. She describes herself as someone, quote, who's been drawing on and off for over 10 years and someone who, quote, focuses on digital concept art. Given that she's been on the site for such a short amount of time, she has only accrued a fan base of four watches to her name. Now then, let's see what she's drawn. A nervous systems art is pretty good. I can tell that she's spent quite a lot of time honing her craft based on what she's got here, and to me, it all paid off so much. The anime style that she has does look quite clean, which I really like, and she's also tried her hand at the Animal Crossing style, which I think looks quite good. Her Animal Crossing artwork blends both her tried and tested anime style and the style of the characters in-game in such a way that it looks faithful to the games while having the same polish of their style. That, in my opinion, is quite an achievement. Also, like she said in her bio, she does often focus on concept art, like this. However, I see that she also tends to draw a lot of characters, and that's it. Seldom does she draw environments or backgrounds, and when she does, they're either pretty bare or really simplistic. There's also the occasional issue that I have with anatomy, but that doesn't really detract much from her gallery in my opinion. It's just something to work on. There's also this more realistic looking style that a nervous system has, which I uh, don't really like. Don't get me wrong, I can tell that she's trying to practice stuff such as shading with it, but these drawings come out as sort of uncanny to me at times. Overall though, a nervous system is a pretty decent artist that has quite a bit of potential. She just needs some help in order to maximize it. Now then, what are my final recommendations to her? Firstly, you should practice drawing backgrounds. Like I said previously, your art does contain the occasional simplistic background, which in my opinion is something that you should work on. You've stated that you're a concept artist, so I think a concept of an environment or two would fit quite neatly under that definition. That's something you should practice more often. Secondly, you should practice anatomy. For the most part, you don't have any glaring issues with it, but sometimes those do pop up, so some practice will help with that, I'm sure. Just be sure to use references for your poses. And finally, you should keep on experimenting. Don't let my remarks on your more realistic looking style discourage you. I see it as more of a sandbox where you try things out, specifically shading, in order to get a feel on what it's like. Keep on doing drawings with it, and people will come out and give you some valuable advice. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, 
is Xenon Quirk 996. Have a nice day.